guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Eris Chantel. Eris sent me this video and it's coming from Boston, Massachusetts. This story is just extremely disturbing. It's about a school dean. Basically at this school, he's in charge of working with at-risk youth. And um, he's in charge of, you know, getting them off of drugs, keeping them out of gangs, being a father figure to these guys, and being a male role model to them as well. So now it's come out that this so-called Reverend Sean Harrison is basically a wolf in sheep's clothing. This man was not only selling and dealing in drugs, he was also dealing in guns and everything else. He ran the streets with gangbangers, and he's been arrested for basically shooting one of his students execution style. This entire story is extremely disturbing. Go ahead and check out the news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Longtime Boston Public Schools employee is arrested, accused of shooting a student. Tonight, Sean Harrison faces attempted murder charges. And New Center 5's Rondella Richardson is live for us in Roxbury tonight. Rondella? Sean Harrison was fired from Boston Public Schools this morning and this afternoon he was in Roxbury District Court to face charges when police were at his Roxbury apartment. According to the court documents, a neighbor says she had been constantly complaining about drug activity there. They found a victim suffering from a gunshot wound to the back of the head. 55-year-old Sean Harrison is accused of shooting a Boston English high school student execution style Tuesday night on Magazine Street. The victim indicated that he was a student at the English high school. Mr. Harrison worked at the English high school um, and that he was um, working for... Uh, Mr. Harrison uh, selling marijuana. Before being arrested yesterday, Harrison worked as the dean of academy. His job to help at-risk youth. Okay, My brother's you know. been in the news all the time, okay? You know he's a reverend. You know he works with the school. What else you want to know? Harrison indeed preached about getting illegal guns off the street. In a Channel 5 interview, it hit home for the father of eight. I was devastated and more devastated when I heard that my son had a gun. Ironically, Harrison was arraigned along with three other men facing gun and drug charges. Police arrested the other defendants as they were leaving Harrison's Pompey Street Roxbury apartment, allegedly carrying guns and marijuana. The prosecutor says Harrison has the same gang tattoo as two of the other defendants. He's charged with armed assault to murder, aggravated assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, and gun charges. His sisters left court in disbelief. Did he have any relations to a gang? No. Does he have a tattoo? Phone. Does he have? He got Rev. Okay, Reverend. Now get out my face. He's being held on $250,000 cash bail. He will likely spend the night at the Nashua Street Jail. And according to the district attorney, they're seeking a search warrant for his Roxbury apartment. Live in Roxbury, Rondella Richardson. All right, so you guys just watching this clip. And this whole story is just really disturbing. And his sister was getting on my damn nerves. You know, it's like, if you don't want to say anything, you shouldn't have commented in the first place. But my thing is this. It makes me sad when I look at stories like this because it's almost like, what kind of future do these kids have? You have a bunch of unqualified, crazy-ass parents at home who are not doing their thing by their children. They're not raising their children properly. Then we're sending our kids to school, and a lot of these teachers are dropping the ball as well. You have female teachers who are sitting here sleeping with our sons and having sex with our children and then now you have a male counselor who's not only not doing his job and not being a role model not doing the right thing by these children he's the dean of students and he's literally running a drug ring you know this whole situation is just crazy and i think if they dig further into this they'll find out that this has been going on for a while and there's probably a lot more people involved because from what i read in the article they're saying that he just came to this school in january so how is it that in less than two months he was able to have this flourishing drug operation where all these boys were down to help him out and help him move marijuana and everything else. This man hasn't been doing this for a long time. I'm sure that people knew about this, but they were looking the other way. Um, as you guys saw in that news clip, the neighbor said that she would call the police all the time because she was always suspecting drug activity going on at the house. And the police would just literally ignore her. So the whole situation is just really, really disturbing. I swear the whole situation is just one big irony. I mean, this man is a minister, but he's selling drugs and, you know, attempting to take somebody's life. He's also in charge of, you know, anger management at the school and helping these young men to make better decisions. But yet and still, he sets up a 17-year-old to come to his house and he shoots him in the face. And then on top of that, he also played a role in substance abuse and helping these kids get off drugs. 
but then in the same breath he's selling drugs. It's almost like this entire damn store is just a huge oxymoron. I'm gonna need this wolf in sheep's clothing to have several damn seats. Boston, lock this buster up and throw away the key. This shit don't make no sense what's so damn ever. Anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. That's once again coming from Boston. How do you feel about Sean Harrison basically being a wolf in sheep's clothing, acting like he's there for the students, but in turn he was using them to be drug mules. He was using them to be gun runners and everything else for him. And then how do you feel about him shooting this student point blank range and then thinking he could get away with it? Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. All right. Deuces.